Going into the NBA draft, many experts reported that Devin Vassell was probably going to go earlier than he actually did. And he ended up on the San Antonio Spurs, which I think is a tremendous pick. So let's talk about today how underrated Devin Vassell is. So before we start today's video, I want to hear your opinion on him down below in the comments. Is he an all-star? Is he going to be just a role player, a starter? So let's talk about what to expect from Devin. I don't know if you guys remember, but during the draft process, people were calling Devin Vassell a athletic Clay Thompson, which I think is kind of respectful, but at the same time isn't because I feel like those are high expectations and standards to put on a player. You know, player to player comparisons are just not always the best, in my opinion. I think there, there should always be a better way. But if we're looking just at the San Antonio Spurs roster, I want to talk about where Devin Vassell fits in. First off, Devin Vassell is playing great. If we look over his preseason stats, he played three games, 27.6 minutes per game, shot 51% from the full field and shot 50% from three on 3.3 attempts. And, you know, had three steals a game. He actually looked very active on the floor. He's a guy who a lot of the time when he was playing, he was doing things that didn't pop up in the stat sheets. He was forcing errors on the team. He was forcing turnovers by just putting his presence in the area, preventing a shot, like making a guy contesting a shot. Because there isn't, people don't track contested shots just Kind of like how he jumped in the air and like it's putting pressure on the guy so they have to pass it off or he gets an awkward shot. And it's really crazy how good he looked in those three games. And the shooting guard position with San Antonio Spurs is going to probably be Lonnie Walker. I don't, I want to hear down below. I know Spurs fans are more into this. I know last year DeJounte Murray played point guard role more and Derek White was playing the shooting guard. But I know two years ago, he was, Derek White was playing more of a point guard role. So I wonder if they're going to roll back out Murray and White splitting the point guard duties, one starting, one coming off the bench, being kind of a six man or something. And then we'll see the shooting guard position. I think the best way for them to go about it is either maybe move Murray over to the shooting guard position and just run Patty White and Derek White at the point guard position to, and maybe have Trey Jones move in there because Trey Jones is a great defender. Or leave Murray there and run White and Murray at the point guard. And then you have Devin Vassell and Lonnie Walker. Because I think Lonnie Walker is going to break out as a scorer this year. I really liked how he played at Miami. Kind of like similar style to like D. Wade in a way that he reminded me when he played in Miami at the University of the U. And I think really Devin Vassell will be a really good counterpart. Because I know Lonnie Walker has all the tools to be a really good defender. So I don't know if it's there yet. But I think that Devin Vassell shooting might be like 35, 36% this year. So I think Dem Vassell could be getting a lot of minutes because of his defensive capability. And I think he's going to be getting a lot more playing time this year due to the fact that he's such a good defender and that's what Greg Popovich loves. So that's something I think we should all look into and see that we could see him playing a lot. Or even if, because I believe Johnson, Keldon Johnson is, or Kel, Keldon, tell me how to say that. Is it Keldon or Keldon? And he, I think, is going to have a breakout year from looking over the stuff because it's really him, Rudy Gay, and DeMar DeRozan's right there because DeMar is more of a forward, in my opinion, like small forward. And I think if DeMar is going to start there and Rudy Gay and Johnson are in a battle for those backup minutes. So I think Devin Vassell really has a good shot at having a chance to being a really good star. I think he's going to be a first-team rookie. I think he's going to probably start half of his rookie year. I think him and Lonnie Walker are just going to duel it out for the shooting guard position. I think that's what Greg Popovich would want because I think those two guys are the perfect shoot, like, phys like physical profile for what Greg Popovich wants in the shooting guard. Dem Vassell being 6'7", having that frame and rankiness with just 3 and D capability to be one of the best defenders in his class and also just being able to score regularly from three-point. But he can also create his own shots. Like, not like an elite level, but he can occasionally. I, like, kind of like how Chris Middleton isn't like, I don't think he's as good of an offensive player as Chris Middleton, but I think his offensive game could be sort, sort of like Chris Middleton, but maybe like a poor man's version, not as, a, like, as elite. But I think where he makes up for that is he could have, be an all-NBA defend, all defensive team regularly. 
in his prime because of how good of a defender he is, Devin Fussell. He's just putting himself, pa interrupting passing lanes, interrupting just even on off ball or even on the ball. He's always, when he's on the floor, there's, he just has this defensive presence and he just disrupts everything. And it's, it's really impressive and I, it's, it's enjoyable to watch because of how good of a player he is. And I think when it comes down to him, the best thing for him to do is to put weight on. He's 195 pounds. I would love to see him get up to 215. I wonder, if, though, if he'll slow down at that. So obviously he needs to find the perfect weight for him. But I really think 215 would be great for him. And really this rookie year is just him figuring out his shot. I think he has a shot, but it's just like at the NBA level, just accustoming to the NBA game. Him and Pat, Pat Williams were drafted in the lottery for a reason. They're athletic specimens. I think they're going to be both great players and guys that everybody in the NBA needs to watch out just because, look, Dem Vassell was in the NBA draft circle. If you were on Reddit or if you were just kept watching along or reading along, you would have seen whose frequent name popped up because of how good of a defender he was and how much scoring potential he offered, which is great. Kevin O'Connor on the Ringer Road stuff. I know the athletic got stuff, Bleacher Report had stuff. And the thing is they all gave him a knock is obviously his size and that he lacks this shot creating ability and stuff like that. They don't know if he could be a really good scorer. And that's what I felt like when I gave him the Chris Middleton comparison over there, and I'm not a person who likes comparisons, I meant in the sense that Chris Middleton, we didn't expect him to evolve into this. And I think that's just a product of getting playing time, doing really well, and just honing your craft and just having a really good work ethic. So with that being said, I think that's what Devin Vassell is. I think he's just a worker. He seems like a quiet guy. He doesn't seem like he, he's gonna be chirping. He seems like a guy who lets his game do the talking for him, which is the most respectful thing to do. So I want to hear your opinions down below. What do you guys think of Devin Vassell? I really do think he could be one of the best players on the Spurs in three years. He could be the face of the franchise and really help this team get back to the glory days and being constant, consistent playoff of, like of contenders. And I think that's something they want. That's something they're looking forward to. So I want to hear your again comments down below. What do you think of Devin Vassell's potential? I think he could pretty much be a borderline all-star player at least. I think he could be an all-star player at the most. But that's just my thoughts on it. So I want to hear your opinions on that down below. We're just wrapping up the video right now. But Greg Popovich knows how to develop players, and I think he's part of the future. I think it comes down to what they're going to do with DeJounte Murray, is how they're going to affect their minutes, and how it's going to go out. That's pretty much my thought on that. Though that's pretty much the video, guys. I really do hope you guys did enjoy this video today. Leave the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you if you made it to the end of the video. Video game, comment down below. As always, guys, I hope you guys do have a great day, because I know I will. Until next time, guys, peace out.